uh, what is the solution for brothers and sisters that have halal relationships? The solution is to have halal. <laughs> <laughs> solution. Dude. Okay, okay, I'll just be upfront with you. This is not a relationship session, but I'll just say a one liner. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If you like the girl and you're talking to her and you feel bad about it, if you don't have the guts to go talk to her father about it, leave it alone and walk away. But if you really love her, then you'll have you'll man up, and you'll tell your parents, and you'll tell her parents, and it, it's a yay or a nay, and you move on with life. Don't string her along and ruin her life and your own. Don't do that to yourself, don't do that to her. If you love her, then you wouldn't want to cause her that kind of suffering later on and that humiliation to her family. So please man up. Okay. Now, um, Okay, so... Yeah, you guys, it's a weird relationship problem, man. This guy just called me randomly, brother, there's this girl in college, I really love her. Okay, now what? I want to marry her. Okay, but the other day she told me that she's considering someone. What should I do? I'm so sad. Okay, uh, she's considering someone, so what... If it works out, it works out. Good for her. If not, then are you ready to talk to your parents? No, no, they'll kill me. <laughs> well, then go in a corner and cry and when you're ready to grow up and then, then call me back. Well, can't you talk to your parents about it? You're crying, you mean? 